Welcome to Poets from the Neighborhood. I am Viraja R. And I'm David M. Harris. We hope you'll enjoy the poems we'll be reading today, poems written by your friends and neighbors. Our first poem today is by David M. Harris, me. Beneficial Owner. The state pretended it owned that stretch of trail up a small mountain past the castle erected by the railroad magnet. But I was up there one day and felt something disturb the still air just above my head, then heard the scream as the hawk turned and climbed for a second dive closer like a god's hand in my hair. The dog and I chose to leave her and her nest and her land secure in her possession. The next poem, Predator on the Prowl, written by me, Viraja R. A cacophony of birds arise, cutting through the midday dosing of the suburban backyards. A hawk swooping, scanning the area for an unsuspecting victim. A mob of neighborhood nesting birds at his tail, amber alert on. Out of the Wild, another poem of mine. Sound ricochets through the valley, across the river, bank to bank. From the porch, you hear the wails that sound at first like sirens. The dog rises, nervous, and sniffs, and stays close. He knows his cousin's call. Just beyond Manhattan's nighttime glow, coyotes haunt these hills. In the morning, you grab the train for Grand Central, while wildness sleeps in your backyard. The next poem, another poem by me, Viraja R. Trouble. Even if the wind stiffens, frozen at its heels, and the birds swallow their songs, silent as if on cue, the herd race for shelter. Middle of the day, the country folks know to lay low, for trouble is brewing like a slow motion movie. Even, even time gets warped when a tornado wraps. Another poem of mine, The Tools of Sewanee by David M. Harris. Notebooks burst out everywhere here, like flowers in an untended garden, all styles and sizes, composition books and little moleskinas, stapled pamphlets and thick leather bound volumes. We take a lot of notes in lectures and workshops, even at meals, even the staff are all writers. Listening or talking, we are likely to bring out a once blank book and jot ideas. Some have systems, different notebooks for poetry, prose, craft talks. I often carry a plastic box rattling with books and pens. You don't see many pencils here, although I keep one in the box for flights. A lot of fountain pens. Morris uses one good one, a gift from Claudia Emerson. Holly has a select handful. I brought six of my hundreds. We natter about nibs and ink almost as much as about lineation and rhyme. We live here in a world of words, their tools and their arrangements of inventing new blooms amid the fertilizer of each other's company. The next poem uh, written by me, Viraja R, writing a poem. I sat down to write a poem, my fingers feeling the keyboard, my brain on search mode, the cursor blinking on, both my mind and computer trying to boot up. I stare at the screen, looking deep into my soul. Thank you for watching Poets from the Neighborhood. We hope you'll join us again soon.